Hi, I'm Debbie and this is Book and Bujo. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you've been here before. Today is my May plan with me in my bullet journal. Before I start setting up my May bullet journal, let's go ahead and take a quick flip through April's. Now, I had totally forgotten that my sister had bought me some stickers for Christmas. And they ended up being the Breakfast at Tiffany's sticker pack. <laughs> when I found it, I of course immediately had to use as many as I could because they are so much fun. This is like one big piece of washi here. And these are all writable with pretty much any pen. Uh, you could even use pencil on it, so they're not super glossy. But they have quite a few, and then they have the little banner flags. And some smaller washi here, which of course I used already. I'll show you when they do the flip through. They have some of the quotes in here. I'm like, man, I could have used all of these. <laughs> these are great. I could have used these instead of trying to draw everything out. But there are some great ones. I will leave this sticker pack linked below in case you would like to get your hands on it because it is very high quality and a great set of stickers for all the Audrey Hepburn fans out there. So I used one of the chandeliers here and I put one of the ring flower and gift box ones here. Sunglasses and another thing of the rings with the little bow. Then I have my calendar page. I added a couple of stickers. This cat one came attached to the quote. And another one up here of someone watching Breakfast at Tiffany's. <laughs> I have my habit tracker, which again, some pastries, stickers over here. So I used all of those. My cleaning tracker. My gratitude page. I have the croissant and the coffee. Another ring over here. And we have my exercise tracker. This is one of the little skinny washi tapes that came with the pack. My devotionals and TBR. I've been doing not too bad. I've gotten through a few more. I'm starting on the next three in line. <laughs> And then I have my weather tracker and my weeklies. So they have this sleep mask was another sticker that came with it. And then I had another random sticker pack that came with some essential oils that I bought. And that's where the little butterflies are from. So here's more. We got the sunglasses, the little black dress. Super cute. This came with that essential oil sticker pack. We have the phone and they have some that say urgent, important today. So I used that one. This one is a purse, but it looks a little bit like a planner. So I put it this direction so it looks like a little travel journal. And then another thing of washi tapes. And here's one of those little banner flag stickers. And I pretty much just put those on Mondays. Except for here because I had already written in that space. So here's another one of the stickers. I added those in on days I know I don't normally have any kind of events because that's the square where I would put events. Then we have a few more here, some more of the washi tape. Here's another one of the flags. Another sticker. So I could have used this instead of drawing my funky cat over here, <laughs> which didn't come out at all. <laughs> and then here's another one of the stickers and another one of the little flags. But overall, I still liked the other little drawings and things that I had originally placed in here. This one I think is my favorite. It came out really well. And that one's okay. <laughs> Not too bad. And of course, this one I just printed off the internet. Came straight from the movie Sabrina. Okay, I have my content planner. And now we're going to be getting into May. I am actually going to be going on a little trip with my hubby. And so I will put that in here once I get that penned in. And so let's go ahead and start in on May. All right, so I found a tutorial to start with. I am 
very not good at uh, perspective drawing and I get so confused at what perspective I'm actually looking at <laughs> and I don't know I I don't know why my brain just has trouble with that and so like those 3d pictures where you're supposed to focus a certain way to be able to see the picture within a picture yeah I've never been able to see those I don't know what it is but my brain just doesn't work that direction so I found a class on YouTube and I will link that down below and that is with drawing with Lincoln and it was a really good quick course. Now I should have started out with a one perspective drawing but no <laughs> this one was a two perspective drawing. So we had a, a point over here and a point over here and so it was one direction this way and one direction this way which is fine. And I did pretty good at the base and up to about here. And then when I did the top, I'm like, this is just not looking right. I don't know what's going on. And so I went and checked with my husband because he is very good at seeing those kind of things. And he helped me to realize that I was doing the top from this perspective instead of from this perspective. Like this should have been from this side and I was doing it from this side. And so it was all curved and not lining up with the bottom and... So we got that sorted out <laughs> and I penciled it in. I started doing some of the shading and then I realized, you know what? I really like how the pencil looks and all the shading and everything. And I didn't want to come back through with a pen and I guess say ruin it, so to speak. <laughs> so I am going to keep it in this pencil drawing. And I used to have a finishing spray that would kind of adhere everything to the page so it doesn't continue to smudge or wear off. And I can't find it. If I find it, I will definitely spray it on here. But if not, then I might go through and at least do some outlining around some of the edges of the pillar and stuff with a Pigma Micron or something just to keep it kind of nice looking. So sorry, I don't have any footage of that because I was really just kind of practicing to see how it would go but it ended up turning out okay and I thought I, I'm just gonna leave it and not mess it up. <laughs> so this is gonna be how it stays. But I will do like the words and the quote and I will get some washi tape in here as well. So let's go ahead and get started.
And since I started using some of my art class techniques from years and years and years ago, I thought I might as well just do another sort of perspective drawing here, and I feel like this one turned out a little better than the first one, so I was happy with it.
And to pull out another art class technique, I went ahead and did some pointillism, which actually I enjoyed a lot when I learned it in high school and did a little bit in college as well. But I, I do actually really enjoy pointillism, and so it was nice and relaxing and fun to do again. And now for a final flip through. Have a quote from Bob Proctor. Every person gets exactly the same amount of time. You get all there is. It's what we do with our time that makes the difference. And again, I will leave this perspective class linked down below in the description box for you if you want to check it out. And here's my calendar page with my goals and priorities. I have my verse of the month, which is Psalm 90, 12. So teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. And then I found a quote, but I didn't find who said it. And it is, when you feel like it's over, just remember, you can start again. My cleaning tracker, and I'm going back to using my stencil from Erin Floto Designs, which I will leave that linked down below as well. And I found some really great quotes, so I put quite a few of them in here. And this one says, knowing is not enough, we must apply. Willing is not enough, we must do. And then for my habit tracker, I will color in the base and the top, depending on how I do those, with those habits. And then the circles and stuff on the side will also be habits. And then for sand coming down in the middle, I will have the rest of the habits that I want to track, which I thought would be kind of fun, a little bit different. Then I have my gratitude page, and this hourglass is from Plant Based Bride, and I will leave that linked down below as well. And it was hard because I have this in the crease, so it was hard to <laughs> tell where the sand is coming down the middle, but it's, I think it still turned out okay. And for the purple and the silver, I did use my Fairy Tale Pearl Colors by Coliro set. And I have my workouts and my devotionals and my TBR. And this, of course, I will fill in once I figure out what my TBR will be for me. And then this hourglass is from Nippa's Art Gallery. And again, I will leave that linked down below. That one's one of my favorites, actually. And then I have my weather tracker and then my weeklies. And then I still have this in pencil, but I want to put my verse of the month in each weekly as well. And then these are all the same. And again, I will put my verse of the month in here. And sometimes I come in with some stickers and washi tape as the week goes on, depending on how things go in the week and how busy I am or how I'm not busy. And then this hour, hourglass is from Bujo by Philo. And again, I will leave that video linked down below for you. And then I have my end of the month reflection page with my favorite shows or the shows that we watched and movies, my favorite books, any highs, things I learned, memories, and habits for change for the next month. And again, you can see 
my bad habit when the thing I need to change is to wait for my pens to dry before I erase them. <laughs> so that is it for May. What is your theme for your May bullet journal? Mine obviously is hourglasses. And I would love to find out what everyone else is doing. So leave that down in the comments below. And if you've made it this far in the video, be sure to leave an hourglass emoji in the comments to let me know that you are here. And please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos from me. And until next time, keep planning. Bye!